I'll be showing how to reduce background noise in Microsoft Teams meetings with the new noise suppression feature. So if you have things like lawnmowers or vacuum cleaners or other distractions in your background, this can help quiet it down. So let's get started. I'm here in my Teams calendar and we're going to join a noisy meeting to show this. But first off, I want to set the actual settings. So in the upper right, I'll click my name to drop this down and we'll choose settings. I want to go to devices right here and there's this noise suppression setting. And this is the one that we want to change. So it's set to automatic, which is the default. But if I drop this down, there's a few options. There's off and that has no suppression. There's low and there's high. It says choose low if you want others to hear music. So just to give you a sense of where it is. Now if I choose off, that's where we're going to start. So there'll be no noise suppression. And I'm going to show back and forth what it is when it's off and how loud it can be versus when you turn it on and how much it can reduce that background noise. So we'll choose off and I'll hit close. Now we're going to join the meeting. Okay, so let's give it a test. First up, the chip test. Now here's a nice bag of chips. I hear that. And maybe I'm on a phone call in a meeting and people eating chips in the background. You hear all this crunching. Mmm. Now I'm going to quickly change the noise suppression. So I'll go back to the upper right here and we'll go to settings again. Go over to devices. Under noise suppression, I will set this to high. So this is going to filter out almost all sounds except for my voice. So let's go and see how this sounds now. Okay, let's try the chip test with noise suppression on high. I didn't hear a lot of crinkling bags, did you? Maybe if I try a chip. I didn't hear much. Now a trick, if you're going to eat chips, you probably want to hide your camera on screen. So you don't even hear that crinkling bag. Now we're back, and maybe there's a vacuum cleaner in the background that's causing a lot of distracting noise, and it just so happens I have one right here. Oh no, it's vacuum cleaner! We need vacuum cleaning, vacuum keyboard, I'm vacuuming my screen, vacuuming my chair. It's so distracting to have a vacuum! Okay, now let's try the vacuum test with the noise suppression on high. And I've got my vacuum cleaner. I'll turn it on. It's working. You probably don't hear a thing, but it's really loud in here. Vacuum cleaner worked pretty good. It even sucked up my paper. Now you might have been on meetings where your dog starts barking in the background, kind of like this. Oh, hey Spot, hey Spot, I'm on a phone call. And it's not just Cocker Spaniels, there's some different sounds, maybe a Doberman Pinscher. Ooh, he sounds a little bit vicious. So the dog sounds can be distracting as well. And this is with the noise suppression off. Okay, now let's try that barking dog test. Here comes the Cocker Spaniel. I don't hear anything. It's kind of nice. Dogs barking, but it's really only picking up my voice through here. Even if it's a Doberman pincher. Doberman doesn't scare me or doesn't scare the people on the phone because they can't hear it as I'm talking. So that's a quick tour of the examples of noise suppression. And one bonus tip. You probably didn't know that I've been listening to really loud music this entire time in the background, but you can't hear it because the noise suppression's on. So take that as a tip for your next meeting. Crank up the heavy metal. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.